do you want to go outside? Well, I don't know the intricacies of your family, but it seems like they're busy dancing, eating cake, or pressuring the bride and groom for pictures. I don't think they're going to miss us too much. It's just a guess. Like I said, I don't know your family too well. But you can definitely blame it on me if we get into trouble. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, I'm taking my drink. You should take yours too. That way we can cuddle up in that little lobby lounge and gossip without having to sneak back to the bar for drinks. I know it's a great idea. Now let's go. <sighs> you know, I hate big party halls, but I do kind of love the little alcoves in the lobby. They're just so glamorous. Whenever I sit in them, I feel like I'm a fancy rich person getting away with something. Well, what are you waiting for? Sit down. <laughs> so what if they see us? You did everything you were supposed to today. You said hello to everybody. You helped your sister and her new husband with everything they requested, which was a bit much, and you delivered an amazing toast. Yeah, that no one complimented you on. It was, it was really good. You did everything you needed to. No, there is nothing more you have to do. The party is going great. Sit next to me. Let's relax. Besides, you told them we're dating, right? Right, so nothing out of the ordinary with a couple canoodling in a corner. No, I don't mind. It's not my first time being the pretend girlfriend. I was surprised that you felt like you needed a cover, but then your family went on and on about proposals and marriages. They can be a bit intense about dating and stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got that. That must be a lot of pressure. <laughs> Please, on my end. I went ahead and set the bar really low when I was a kid. Now they're just happy I have a job and an apartment. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. Teach them to expect nothing. Yeah, you gotta stop overachieving. No, there's nothing wrong with you. You'll meet somebody eventually. For now, though... Here, let me show you something I learned a couple of weeks ago. Observe this wine glass, filled with a deliciously dangerous cocktail. It will now become an instrument. <laughs> Here, let me show you. I'm going to have to suck my finger. It's going to be a little gross, but bear with me. now if I circle my finger around the top of the glass <laughs> isn't that cool on YouTube it's where I pick up all my useless skills <laughs> I figured you might get a kick out of it yeah it is impressive isn't it <laughs> 
Definitely better than when I tried to strip that table, huh? Ugh, a huge mess. No, no, it's, it's still very ruined. But I just came to like the uneven coloring. Yeah, it's got that shabby, chic vibe to it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Mm. Don't look now, but your mom's coming. Hi there, Miss Doe. Yeah, so much fun. Thank you for letting him bring me. I can imagine he is kind of the life of the party, but I wanted to have him to myself for a minute. Oh, yes. He might just be the most handsome man I've ever dated, actually. Yeah, you have a spectacular son. He's been nothing but wonderful to me this whole night. <laughs> I have no doubt he'll be a great dad, and I think our kids might be the cutest on earth when we have them, but I just don't think I'm ready to share him yet. Besides, I want us to have our own beautiful wedding, just like this. Of course, when we're ready, you will be the first to get the call. Mm -hmm. We can talk details down to the flower arrangements. Yes, I'd love that. Absolutely. You are not joking. She is a bit intense. Hey. Hey, whoa, are you okay? Hey, no, I I'm sorry. I was just trying to get her off your back. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh god, o okay. Um, here, uh, give me a hug. N no, you're not okay. You're about two shades paler, and you look like you're gonna faint, and I'm not sure what to do, so let me hug you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You are an adorable man. <laughs> you are. You're honest. You're sensitive. You're funny. You're clever. I mean, not as clever as me, of course. <laughs> Don't let the pressure get to you. It's not like dating someone is going to magically make you better than you are. Honestly, that might be impossible. You're pretty great. <laughs> Excuse me, I have never lied a day in my life. Uh-huh. You know what? Why don't we get some fresh air? I'm sure they'll all be there when we get back. I think we both deserve a break from marriage and baby talk. Besides, I saw a gazebo outside and romance movies have ruined my brain, so I kind of have to go in it. Please, I've always wanted to sit with a handsome wedding date in a gazebo. I am not a kiss up, but I will give you a kiss if that's what it takes to get my way. Oh, I'm very serious. 
I told you I never lie. All right. You asked for it, Buster. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I think I like that a lot. Yeah. I think I might want to do that again. <laughs> but I want to do it in a gazebo. Come on. Mm. Okay. I should have gotten my jacket because it's frigid. But, how cool is this? Look, they even decorated it with tiny flowers. Oh, tell me this isn't super romantic. Not kind of romantic, super romantic. I am romanced. Look, there's even a few stars out. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. This is, you're right, this is so lame. Actually, no, it's not. I, you know what? No. This is amazing. It's perfect. And I think I want to kiss you again. If that's okay. Yeah. I am. Um, I really like that. I think. I think I might like you. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you want to try kissing me again? And maybe we can find out if that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might like you a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, these heels are a little higher than I'm used to, and um, kissing you and the wine. And the gazebo. <laughs> I'm just, I, I guess I'm just a little dizzy. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think sitting down would help. Um, do you mind if I, if I sit in your lap? It's kind of, it's kind of still very cold out. And you're, um, you're really warm. So, thanks. What? <laughs> I said I was dizzy. I didn't say I wanted to stop. I like the way your hands feel. Mm hmm. I think. I think I want them all over me. Mm hmm. Do you want to try going back with me to my car? seeing if that's the case. Mm -hmm. 